What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today's vlog is something I'm super, super excited to tell you guys about and to actually share this moment with you guys at the same time as I'm gonna be seeing these for the first time in person. These are all the samples from the Outfitted Apparel. This is the stuff I told you guys about in my last video. But before we get started on showing you guys this stuff, I wanna introduce you to my good buddy Kyle. What up? This is Kyle Stees. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Kyle Muir, we've been buddies for years. A while. We were hanging out, we were hanging out in this space that, before. <laughs> that's true. Before it was the Kyle was my delivery. first roommate in the, this is called the ranch house. This is a house that we rent from a buddy's family. We call it the ranch house. Me and Kyle lived in here a long time ago, yeah. but like six, oh, yeah. seven years ago. Six or seven years ago. And I was doing a startup back then and Eric was getting his stuff all going off the ground and we, we would hustle. You remember your internet? Uh-huh. <laughs> we straight hustled in my, so my bedroom was bed and an office and a shipping warehouse was outside in an enclosed trailer. Do you remember that? That yeah. big enclosed trailer? Yeah. That carried all the inventory and stuff. But guys, this whole plan that we're doing with this active wear, with the outfitted and everything we're about to show you guys goes way back. Just like Kyle said, we've been friends for years roommates years and years ago and since then i think we've grown as individuals we're a lot smarter in certain ways we've had more so, experience we're with so much smarter with biz yeah we're so <laughs> smart now but we have a lot more business experience between what i do in the hunting world and what kyle has done through all his different adventures yeah. and we can tell you more about that but i want to show you guys what's inside this box but before before we do that I ha there's something i need to show you so I'm gonna go grab a box out of my storage room and I'll let Kyle take over the vlog for now. You guys are gonna dig this. This is uh, this is history right here that you're gonna be that you're gonna be witnessing and part of. And I actually Eric pulled out this box and showed me this box uh, a couple weeks ago for the first time, and I was surprised that he even still had this thing. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh. There's certain things in life that just happen, like really seem to happen for a reason. I'm a believer in all that kind of stuff when it comes to like meeting people, networking, you know, opportunity, partnerships, opportunities, and taking advantage of them. So for years ago when we all lived together, well, me and Kyle lived here, and then a third buddy named Don't forget Thane. Thane. We started a company what called... What up, Thane? Well, I'll show you. It's on the front of this, this bad boy. Okay, this is the name of the company we started. <laughs> tank toppers tank toppers all right so this goes back years and years ago when i've always been a fan of active wear definitely tank tops in the gym and actually wearing them casually through the summer months whether you're boating going wakeboarding gonna hit the the beach or anything like that so the three of us started this company called tank toppers legit business or at least we tried to be back then for what we knew and check this out i have saved this box of tank tops all these years we That's had so dope. two men's styles so this neon green one was like unisex all, all originals all originals these man are... that's the reason why i kept these i never could give them away and i usually <laughs> donate all this kind of stuff but and we sh we got to give props to chandler chandler mcfarland the, helped us out with all the design the charm animal so check that out t-a-n-k that was actually the most popular one right there, the green. And it, these are comfy tanks, like the cuts on them, like they they feel good. This was the least popular. Apparently the girls didn't like the ribbed wife beater style. Yeah, that's right. Mm. But the color of this and the design we thought was kind of cute. Tank toppers on the side, a little heart. Chandler designed that as well. And then this one, this actually was the best selling ladies tank top we had, like a razor back. This is a cool one. Uh, super soft, super casual looking. A lot of girls like layered it up with a piece underneath, you know, a sports bra or something underneath. But yeah, this was a cool little logo too. Yeah, I dig that one. A company like this does not just appear out of nowhere. Outfitted is something that goes back, back into the tank topper days. It's always something I wanted to do. I personally just never knew how to find like a manufacturer how to go through the entire process of cut to sew and what that means is you know these shirts back then we were just ordering them blank through like a blank apparel company like Bella canvas or next level um, American apparel that's the popular one alternative alternative yeah we use those so we were selling tank tops this is before social media like Instagram wasn't around for sure 
but we would just go out to like the U.S. Open to surf. We went out there in that California to awesome. the U.S. Open to surf. We did all these events here in Salt Lake. We did wakeboarding events down in Southern Utah at the wakeboarding park. So we tried to just get the brand out to the lifestyle of like really active people, that summer positive vibe, having fun, hanging out with your friends. And all honestly, about all about the stoke. I yeah. mean, that's what it was. It was just like, you guys are having fun. Like yep. let us like capture you having fun. and Yeah, it was pretty funny how we got our, we built a Facebook page pretty big for the short amount of time that we put effort into it. But we'd go to all those events take people's pictures that were wearing tank tops and say hey if you want to get your picture you have to go like our facebook page that was kind of our this technique. was the this was like our go-to-market yeah that was like our go-to-market <laughs> and we were hustling these out of backpacks at like us open a surf and great feedback everyone we talked to was like love the idea love tank tops love the whole like get everybody involved the whole positive like have fun lifestyle and that super outgoing you know atmosphere that we had so I feel like if we would have ran with this, this is what goes, this is what's funny about business is nothing happens overnight. Everything has to be done over a long period of time and you have to work your butt off. If we would have stuck with this, Kyle, we'd be the freaking tank toppers. Right we'd now. be, it's just we, a good we'd idea. be crushing I, it. I think, and then I saw there was a few, there's a few different groups that popped up kind of posts like early Instagram doing really similar yeah. stuff I remember seeing. and. It, it was a missed opportunity, but that's how that's I just feel how like business if we rolls. Launched this on Instagram when it came out, when Instagram was brand new, and just been that cool, funny saying, just tank tops, laid back, just like novelty, all about tops, the stoke. And then all of a sudden, uh, and all about the stuff we just talked about, we could have killed it. We could have. But it's not too late. We're doing outfitted, new brand, new twist, and new style, but uh, same platform, same idea. And thanks to Kyle because he is the manufacturer guy he's the guy who's done all the material sampling so thanks to Kyle we actually have a legit sample right here let me show you all manufacturing whether whether it's apparel or plastics or metals uh, any manufacturing it is a process it always requires design requires a vision uh, you know you, you kind of got to have the uh, the end in mind so um, so yeah I work um, I work with a factory and um, they're a textile factory out of out of LA got to keep it as local as possible uh, and I've got uh, a number of relationships with um, the high performance fabric companies that are coming in from Taiwan um, and uh, that's that's where um, that's where all the best fabric yeah, comes so guys, from. Kyle has a company that specializes in women's activewear and that's been a huge help because we're using the same manufacturer. When I thought about this, it was like, Kyle, like, why don't I call Kyle and see if he wants to partner up I'm, and build this I'm very company. grateful for that. <laughs> well, it's like a perfect thing, guys. To, for me to go out and vet manufacturers, to try to find all this stuff, it would have taken me years. It, one, it's not anything I'm interested in doing. Kyle, actually, I could say, like, you enjoy all that, the process. I do, I do. I There's... enjoy, like, bringing it to you guys, building a brand, showing my audience and just honestly like it's something i'm i wear every day like literally this t-shirt gym shorts joggers it's all i wear all day every day so it's something i can speak to my audience naturally and organically because i wear it anyways so why not just build our own yeah and that's where coming yeah. together is perfect very cool yeah and i've and i've watched eric for a while so when he hit me up on it i was stoked to be able to take a skill set that that i've developed that's kind of like a back-end skill set and use it in a way that uh, I it's, guess is that's a perfect part yeah sure. all right let's show I'm too excited okay. okay so we Kyle and I got together we had a whole variety I wish we would have documented that stuff but we had he brought some shorts that he liked I had some shorts that I liked and we kind of picked and choose like what features we liked and the cut we liked and the material super crazy process and then with that we did our best to communicate from Kyle to Tom, Tom, Tom in, in Los Angeles, California, what exactly it was we want. And then from there we did a bunch of conference calls with Tom and he actually started drawing sketches. So from what I understand, Tom is a designer and a pattern, mm -hmm. like the pattern maker. Mm -hmm. And what he'll do is take what your vision and put it down on paper first. And that's what he did with every piece. And it's, it's been quite the process. So to actually have a pair in hand, this Already is, and, and we have, we, neither of us have seen these, so oh this is, gosh. this is first time. This is the first time, so, 
Clearly a lot of the pieces we're gonna start with are gonna be black. I think it's gonna be the best selling color. And as a startup, as, as much as I want to have certain features, certain colorways, which I think we'll move for, forward with in the future. To, as a startup company, we had to start somewhere. So a lot of our pieces, or all the samples are in black. Let's see these pockets. But yeah, check these out. Oh, nice. He did mesh. Did he, he do the it mesh? It looks like he found some, I think, yeah. Yep, he did mesh. Cool. So it's funny because he's like, I think I got some mesh laying around. Yeah. Like, this is a straight up sample. So Kyle had to order the material and then those guys went went ahead. It's and a we one, had to one off out, piece. Yeah, source out everything like the drawstring, the eyelets, the, the band on the inside. Like, there's so much to each piece. That's got the welted pocket that is mm -hmm. clean and it's stretchy. So, mm -hmm. guys, the one thing I like in a short is a good cut and some stretch. They look a little long if I had to guess, but we're gonna try these on here in a minute. I just wanna show you guys each piece. So this is the first time, again, I'm seeing this. So, uh, shorts, this must be the tank. Nice, dude, did they, they did such a good job. These are just... Look at the taper on the bottom okay, too. Yeah, so that's one thing I wanted, so guys. So the swoop, the swoop is pretty popular. Personally, I like a tank top that's a little longer especially in the back because when you're working out uh like today i'm going to do back day the one thing that drives me nuts is doing like pull-ups and having my shirt shift up and your belly showing so we decided to go with a a pretty like conservative cut not super low not super swoopy not like a muscle tank but more just like a really comfortable one almost like a cut off sleeve and it's got the swoop on the bottom. Just to kind of the material it's soft. Dude, it's insane. It's soft. The next step is to to fit everything. So make sure that each cut is exactly how we want it. You make sure it moves with us, mm -hmm. moves with our bodies. Yeah, there's and gonna be these are this is just stage one, guys. There's gonna be a lot of steps moving forward. This is a long sleeve performance shirt. It's not your typical uh, seam on the top. I honestly like this for a more aesthetic look, a better fit, and more. It feels really good right on now. the shoulders. It feels really good on your shoulders. So we did this. You can see the seam. I know it's black, so it's probably hard to see, but it's a raglan sleeve. And I'll be honest with you, Kyle. At first glance, it looks a little short. Mm -hmm. so we might want to. We might want to do the swoop on this one. Yeah. All right. This is the one I was most excited about. <laughs> These the joggers. Are I love. These are dope. Love me some joggers. Dang. And maybe look long? Do they seem? Do they look long? You know, it's always hard to say. I'm gonna go throw these on real quick. Yeah. These I can't wait to try. It's official. I am outfitted from head to toe. <laughs> so we just pulled out the uh, samples. We put them on, tried them on, and we want to just run you guys through them real quick to show you what we actually like about the pieces and what we are gonna make changes to so far. So I'm gonna show you Kyle's outfit, the short and a raglan sleeve top. Everything is like super stretchy, a very perf high performance material. Good. This is a true medium. We liked pretty much everything about this top other than the length. So one thing I don't wanna do is, is have people not like our, our pieces because they're just too short. So that piece is what we're gonna do with that top is add the the swoop of this. So let me show you guys the swoop. This is gonna be a large tank top. Honestly, I think this is like, I'm gonna wear this today. This is my favorite new tank top already. Um, it's not, what we're gonna do is probably brand all these pieces with an outfitted logo, which uh, is not dialed in yet. So I can't share with you guys, but we have a really cool concept I think you'll like. But these are just straight blank. So this is gonna be a true large, which is the size I wear. And I think it fits perfect. And we just added like a half inch swoop in the back. And with that, you can lift your, you know, lift your hands, you can squat, you can just be active and go to the gym and not have to worry about it being a belly shirt, which is one of the things I hate the most. So these are like uh, super, super stretchy. Like so stretchy, so comfortable, almost like, like a jogger meets a compression pant in a way, almost like a hybrid. So what we're gonna do with these is they're tight on my calves. That's typically all joggers are because I have, I don't know, big calves. I love it. There's just a lot of extra material. So what we told them to do or what we're gonna tell them to do and communicate back and forth is to bring this in a little bit just to make it a little tighter. 
So I know a lot of people don't like jogger style pants like this tight, skinny jeans, joggers, whatever. This is the kind of stuff I like. So this is the kind of stuff I want to sell. For people who have never tried a jogger that's cut like this, I dare you to. You will comfy. never go back it's to true. just a big baggy like cotton sweatpant. But anyways, let me give you a quick look. We decided to do zipper pockets on the front. So one on each side. Super nice zipper. Pockets are dope. Like a welted pocket, super clean. Again, I think we're gonna brand these with something, you know, maybe right here, or something high on the pocket. We did only a single pocket in the back. It's a welted pocket and we talked a lot about the pockets. I don't think it's a make or break deal when it comes to like buying a pair of gym pants or joggers, but it is sometimes nice to have that one pocket because I wear these things casual. So whether it's my phone or my wallet, it's nice to have one, but we did not do two because I felt like two was overdoing it. Guys, these things are perfect. If they were, to me, if they just fit a little, you know, about like that, they'd be money. Just a little bit tighter. Just a little bit, but for now, there's just a lot, and if this is going to be a medium, I think they're going to be too long. So we told them to raise it up a little bit and then trim that down. But I think they nailed it. Like I didn't even expect like this good a quality for round one of samples. So yeah, I was super happy. Super happy. And this tank top again, I think I'll be wearing that at the gym today. So let me show you the shorts. All right, high tech, super performance, super active, super stretchy man shorts. They did a really, really good job on these. We decided to do like a square pocket uh, because the one thing I always have when I go to the gym is my dang phone. And yes, this is a seven plus with a case, so it's, it's ginormous. It's a massive phone. And it fits good in there, but we do still, even this is a big phone, we felt like it was a little sloppy, a little too big. So we're gonna pull up the pocket about an inch, inch and a half, and then we're also gonna pull up the length of the short about two inches for active wear and uh you know the current style honestly is a little bit shorter of a short so we want it to be like right there versus you know covering the knee so probably about mid knee and you know that way you can lift your legs we also thought that the crotch was a little low on that one so we're gonna have them bring that up but overall guys i am so super super impressed super happy with each piece i love this top i put it on it's just a little too small for me so Perfect medium. The shorts will be, that will be the medium in a short. Mm -hmm. This would be a medium in a pant, and then this would be a large in the top. And uh, gosh, just little tweaks. Just little small tweaks. Ones. Small ones, but Tom out in LA, him and his team did a fantastic job. Man, once we get these and brand them and then even get try the other colors that we talked about, yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Guys, I hope you like honestly, I hope someone out there enjoys this stuff as much as I do. You can see when I talk about it, I'm so excited about it because this is the stuff I love. I don't want to do a business or start another business or invest in a company that I'm just not like truly passionate about. So making hunting videos clearly is what I love. Fitness is the other thing I love. So making videos about it, making products for it, just like we do for the hunting industry. So that's gonna be it for the outfitted stuff, guys. The, uh, we're going to be launching the logo soon. I'll probably be able to show you guys that in the next video. Outfitted.com is going to be our website, so hopefully you guys start following us there. Outfitted, or on Instagram, it's at Outfitted underscore. So I will leave a link to the Instagram account below. And honestly, someone go follow that. It has zero followers right now. It has zero media, but it has nobody following it. I haven't told anybody, but it is at o-u-t-f-i-t-d underscore go check it out and then follow us please we need some support <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed that i want to document pretty much this whole journey from going from a nothing company to a startup company to launching our first product and there's probably some other stuff we should have documented along the way but moving forward me and Kyle will make a point of it to uh, get you guys some good content. Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? If you literally sat through and watched that entire video, I just wanna say thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And man, I'm excited for this new outfitted journey and uh, doing all the apparel. Uh, just like I said there at the end, I hope you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. And if not, it's totally cool. Uh, hopefully you're interested in entrepreneurship. And maybe you'll just watch the uh, journey uh, from here on out. But some good news first good news is this thing is home finally 
and PC laptops pulled through and recovered the data from my, my really bad hard drive. So I've got so much content on this bad boy to share with you guys moving forward. Right now, Bridget and I are packing to go to Texas and we just got back from a scouting trip. So the next vlog is gonna be a little bit of scouting and a little bit of first part of the Texas trip. So hopefully you guys will subscribe so you can stay caught up. Also, just wanna say thanks for 12,575 subscribers now. That's awesome. I mean, I really had no plans with this channel other than to just get on here every now and then, post a vlog and keep you guys updated on what's going on with my day-to-day -day life. So, 12,500. I'll take it. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you have a good night. I'm gonna cut the vlog right here because I have a lot of work to do and we're leaving first thing in the morning for Texas. Typical, typical of me to uh, do some of this stuff last second. But hey, it is what it is. So anyways, good night, guys.